So we got kind of an interesting job here to do today. Um, one of my really good friends has an airplane and um, this, is, this is a mount off the exhaust where the actual exhaust comes down through the bottom of the plane. Sent me a picture the other day of it. In the picture, it looks a lot bigger than it is, um, but he asked me, you know, if I could fix it. I started, you know, thinking that it might be titanium and then I got it, you know, he brought it over and it's definitely some type of a stainless. Um, and it's been welded several times. I mean, it's been welded here. It's been welded here. This looks really rough um, inside here, inside here. So it's been welded a lot. So I told him, you know, I said, I'll weld it for you and you can use it. But I think I, I think if it was me, I'd maybe seeing if you can either buy this piece or, you know, we just get you some material and we make a new one. But, um, I'm not sure the grade of stainless. So what I've always, you know, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to weld it with a 316 um, filler wire. I think that'll, you know, should be okay. You know, I, I don't have any way of um, testing this, you know, the greatest stainless besides, you know, if somebody out there's got a PMI gun or something where they could, you know, shoot it and it'll tell you exactly what it is. But I've had good luck just when I didn't know what something was, either welding it with <clears throat> a 316 or, you know, sometimes using like a, uh, an Inconel 82 wire, or uh, I know some guys swear by just using 309, but I figure for, for this application, we're just gonna use 316. Um, it looks like it's actually been broke for a long time. So, you know, I don't think that it's anything you know, super important. I think it needs to be there, but it's one of them things, you know, it's just holding it there. And I, I, you know, I'm sure it's not good for it to be jarring around in there with this being broke. But at the same time, you know, he said, he said that he's not sure how long it's even been, been broken. And by looking at the break, like it's, you know, it's pretty dirty. It's got a lot of junk down in it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to clean this up. I already started cleaning this one with a 3M radial bristle brush. I'll show you guys that. We're gonna clean this up nice. Um, I might have to get in here and, and take a little bit of this existing weld off just so I can get a good weld. And then we're gonna fixture it on just a piece of aluminum. And uh, you know, we're just gonna try to put a real small gap in it there and you know, weld both sides of it real nice for him. And I, I think it'll hold up fine for him, but we'll see. So this is one of the 3M radial bristle brushes. Um, I believe this is 125 grit. Uh, I use an 80 grit at work for cleaning uh, stainless pipe, cleaning the welds on stainless pipe. These things are awesome. Um, I've had one now at work for probably close to six months, use it every day, um, you know, have cleaned hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of welds with it and they hold up great. Um, the 125 grit one, it doesn't seem to clean a weld as good, but it's really good at cleaning, you know, dirty stainless to where, you know, it's almost like a mirrored finish there if, if, you, if that camera picks that up. But I, I really like these things. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this up best we can. We'll knock this weld down, and then I'll show you guys how I'm gonna fixture it up. So what I kind of came up with here to fixture this thing is to clamp this something like so here. And this is just a piece of aluminum that I've used for all kinds of stuff. And then we'll clamp that down good here. Bring this back as far as we can and clamp it. And I think, I think we'll be able to get a good weld on there. And I think it's, you know, that piece of aluminum is really going to help pull the heat out of it. So it's not gonna get too hot um, and wanna, wanna make a mess of it. I 
I need to, if anybody knows of anybody that's selling one, or if anybody knows of a company that makes uh, a decent um, fixture purging block, I'd really like to get one, um, you know, to fixture small parts like this and be able to get a little bit of argon on the back side of them. I think that would be really nice. I know uh, Jody, um, I, I actually talked to Jody the other day, Weldmonger, he's a good friend of mine, and we were, we were just chatting about life in general, and I'd asked him about, I said, uh, you know, do you know, you know anywhere I can get one of them? And, you know, he said he, he didn't offhand, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping he'll think about it, you know, and he'll come up with something or have an idea of where I could get one at. I was looking online and, you know, most of the aerospace ones that the aerospace guys use that they test with, they're, they're like $1,500. Um, I thought about actually just getting a hunk of aluminum and, and, you know, having my dad machine me one out, but I don't know. We'll see. But I think that's going to work. We'll go ahead and we'll tack the ends. I got like a, you know, I don't know, 15 thousandths gap in there. We'll get a t nice tack on each end. And I'm hoping I can just weld one side and it'll penetrate clear down through there real nice. Maybe make it a tad tighter for him. So my setup here is gonna be, I got the uh, BB Dub 16 cup on here from Michael Furick. Um, I was gonna try to use my my uh, Kravonikov um, trailing lens on this, but I don't think it, I'll be able to get it in there. So, got a pretty long stick out. We got 40 CFH argon. Um, I think I'll be able to get, you know, in there real nice. Maybe, maybe get a little bit more stick out there. My goal is, once I get this tacked, to flood this whole area, you know, with argon to where I can get, you know, it's good and shielded. Um, I, got the, I got the Prime Weld 325 just set at like 35 amps. I turned the starting amps all the way down on it. So I should get, I'm hoping here when we light up on it, we don't make a mess, but we're gonna run just 045 filler wire on this. It should work pretty good. So 35 amps is not enough. <laughs> We're gonna turn that up to about 50. Well, a little bit dirty, uh, which I kind of expected it to, but not terrible. We'll go ahead and flip it over and see what the backside there looks like. Yeah, not too bad.
Yeah, it don't look too bad for him. The one nice thing about welding these on a piece of aluminum like this is, is one, you know, if you got a gap and you weld, you know, if you use put carbon or stainless, you know, you can use copper. This is a copper block here I got. But like the one nice thing is, is if you got a gap in your material and you weld over it, it won't fuse to the aluminum, same as copper. So like, and it, and it really helps aluminum especially, it just, on thin material like this, you'll find that like something you could weld with 30 amps, like I thought, um, you end up needing, you know, 20, 30 more amps because this aluminum is just sucking the heat right out of it, which was, you know, really nice on this. I might do a video here soon on welding razor blades. I know, you know, people used to make a big deal out of welding razor blades. And really, if you clamp them down to a piece of aluminum like this and you know, you get them good and tight, get a good fit up on them, um, you know, 35, 40 amps, you can zip right across the razor blade with 035 wire. And it, it's honestly very easy. Uh, it's not hard. Now, if you try that same weld off of the plate, you know, just out in the open, yeah, you're gonna make a mess. It's gonna fight you um, and you're gonna struggle. So, you know, something there. I mean, I don't know. I don't think that looks too bad. I think he'll be happy with that as thin as this is. We'll straighten it up a little bit and I'll, uh, I'll get it back to him. But um, yeah, I mean, like I said, you can see there where someone's really, really boogered it up good. It's not even really tied in there. This one here, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what they did there. My dad was telling me a lot of the stuff used to be gas welded and I don't even know. I mean, I don't know enough about gas welding to know, but I didn't think stainless could be gas welded, but um, I mean, maybe it can. <laughs> but all right, well, you guys all have a good day and like and subscribe.